Okay, how to adjust the ignition timing of your Rackstar adjustable CDI. So basically, there are two uh, LED lights. Just show you. So there's. Let's turn on the ignition. Fan turns on for four seconds, and then the fan turns off. So the red light uh, indicates this red light indicates that your ignition timing is in on the stock position, stock setting. Uh, the green is for the TPS sensor. So using this dial and using a flat screw, flat screw. You need you will turn to counterclockwise if you want to advance. So counterclockwise is like that. And if you want to retard, turn clockwise. Like that. So the maximum advance degree is four degrees and the maximum retard is also four degrees. So first, once ignition is on, and on, and then slowly adjust the degree, adjust this dial to advance the ignition timing. So counterclockwise. No, take note of the red bed. So counterclockwise. The red light stays off. That means that we have advanced the ignition timing. Uh, the maximum advance is up to that portion. That, that's maximum 4 degrees to the ignition timing. And the retard. So that's the stop ignition timing. You want to retard? Turn it clockwise. So that's the maximum uh, retard position. Let's turn it back to the stop setting. So the stop setting. Uh, notice if we increase the uh, mission timing, take note of the idle position. I mean the RPM. Think of the RPM sound. The RPM increases. So, go back to the top position. You will check with the or tachometer. So using a stock uh, setting, we have 1,550 RPM. We will adjust the mission timing. Let's say. Our RPM increased by 50. It's now 1,600, 1,550 to 1,600. We increased the emission timing. Now we will try to retard the emission timing. Stop emission time station. We'll retard. Try the position and let's see if our uh, RPM.
ठीक है ये वन फाइव सिक्सटी एंड सम्स टू वन थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड